Never die, that's how you 
welcome to our 2019-2020 choir banquet. Sorry, this has has to be our ending, but I am grateful that um, we were able to do this nonetheless. Hope that you had enjoyed the video up to this point, and I am grateful that I was able to make that for you. Um, those are all the photos that you guys had taken throughout the year, um, and hopefully we can continue to make wonderful memories um, again next year and be able to have another great year. Um, the, uh, this portion is, uh, this is all voted on by you. So this is the most outstanding and supportive um, part. Um, and I love it. This is some a tradition that I have loved because this is voted solely on um, and for you. Um, and let me tell you a, bit, a little bit about the award. The most outstanding and supportive award for choir is designated to one member in each choir that exemplifies dedication while motivating others to strive for musical excellence. This is not necessarily the best choir singer, but the best choir member. So these are those kids that are constantly working hard, that are giving their best effort, that are being a great friend, that are being a good role model, that are doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and um, I love how this is always, usually the most honest kids are throughout the year with how hard each individual works. So um, when I read these off, I will try to not give a name or try not to indicate who it is. Um, and so I will try to be very candid, um, saying this student, etc. But there's going to be a lot of comments in a row. Um, so sorry if it doesn't flow correctly. But uh, nonetheless, thank you guys again. All right. So this is for Choir 1-2, Most Outstanding and Supportive. The, student have, or the students have said that this person has a great singing voice, is always sweet to everyone at any time, especially at concerts, that they are uplifting and supportive to everyone. They motivate all of us. They motivate all of us, especially when we make mistakes, which is really important. They always sing out. They strive to make us better as a group and as a section. And finally, this person is the prime example of this award. And I love that those words were said because they, you know, the students really read into it and really make the most out of it. But congratulations, Jasmine. Jasmine from Choir One Two, congrats. And I am so proud of you. Thank you so much. This next award is for Choir 3-4. Now this will have two because we have two sections of Choir 3-4. We have the Choir 3-4 guys and we have the Choir 3-4 girls. So the first one, um, this first person um, is always wanting to help. If anyone or if someone doesn't understand something, um, they're always there when I need them. They care about choir more than anyone else I know. Um, they are very outgoing and they never fail to make everyone smile even when they're having a bad day. It's perfect, I love that one. Um, this, uh, this person um, is very mature. Um, they are there for you when you're upset or going through something and they're always um, help, helpful and, and listening. Uh, this next person said, um, they don't put you down. And finally, the last, the last comment was, they're very hardworking. So the first award for Choir 3-4 goes to Chris Williams. Congrats, Chris. That's awesome. And the second award um, for Choir 3-4, it is said, um, the students have said that this person genuinely helped me both personally um, for all different classes as well as um, in the choir sense. Another student said that this person has helped me, has helped, yeah, they have helped them with their emotional stability for three straight years. And lastly, uh, he would recognize um, when we were singing something wrong and would tell us what we did wrong and how to fix it. I think that is so incredibly important that they're not only honest with things that need to be fixed, but then has a way to fix it. Um, so I'm so incredibly honored to announce that Sean, Sean, you are the Choir 3-4 Guys uh, recipient. Congratulations. The next award is for Concert Choir, the most outstanding and supportive. 
I'll get right to it. This is a, a long one because there was a lot of votes for this individual. This person always puts in the effort um, or work needed and encourages others to do the same. She is constantly trying to cheer people up and reminds us that we are amazing, but we still need to go over our music. I love that, that they're constantly pushing others to be better and be better for the choir. Um, this, person, this person constantly hypes us up um, and has helped me get through some rough and frustrating times. She is always wanting to perform. Um, she's always wanting to perform her best and she always does a great job. Um, next one, the next student said, she is always smiling and she is the most encouraging person. Next person said, she is a super supportive person and very welcoming. Uh, the next comment was, she has a positive energy and is exactly what our choir needs to have and should have. The next person says, she has set a great example for the students in grades below her as well as above her um, and invites people to explore their passion for music in all different aspects. The next person said, she is always trying to help the choir improve uh, and she's always smiling um, and she has an infectious personality. Um, and the other, another person says, you can't but help um, smile when you are around her. Um, and the last thing that was said was that she never brings anyone down and always encourages others to do their personal best. So again, it is an honor to present this Concert Choir Most Outstanding and Supportive Award to Bridget Mullings. Congratulations. All right, this is the last Most Outstanding and Supportive. Um, and again, I love this. This is so much fun when the students have such great input. This person always puts so much effort into choir and tries to make it as fun as possible. This person shows so much love for the class and honestly hopes the best for all of us. Next person said, no matter what I um, would be pursuing, either music or basketball or fitness or a girl that I'm into, this person would always show so much interest and care on the topic and would give me hope and encouragement through my journey. Awesome, awesome statement. This next person said, this person puts all of their time and dedication into choir. The next person said it, um, that, they are always, that they always know their choir part and sometimes the part of others and they're always willing to help out when needed. Um, and there's one more. This person says that they um, care so deeply for the group and are always wanting um, the group to excel and push for greater things. So I am so grateful to present this award to Parker. Congratulations, Parker. Love you. Thank you. This last award is some uh, an award that has gone on for quite some time at Greenway. Um, I want to say that um, with Jeff Yoder it was 20 years, with me it's been 7, and I think that it went on prior to that. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I know that this award has been going on for at least 27 years, um, and I'm excited to present this award, as always, for all of these things. Um, again, I wish I could be there in person with every one of you and celebrate um, the year, but um, I'm grateful to, again, make this video for you guys. Um, and hope that I could bring a little bit of joy. So this last award um, is the Most Outstanding Achievement Award. Um, and this is the only award that I give out specifically each year and it's always designated to a senior that has gone above and beyond. Um, last year, um, the award went to Sarah Walker, if I remember correctly. Um, and many of you guys remember her and love her. And I believe the prior year before that was Michael Klooster, I think. I think that's correct. Um, I had taken a picture of it, um, but I didn't want, I can't open it up. I'm videotaping with my, with my phone. So um, anyway, uh, these are people that have given above and beyond um, just coming to class every single day. Um, and they've given a lot of time and dedication to the ensemble. Um, so this year's recipient is somebody that um, has given four years 
to Greenway Choir. Um, they have been incredibly dedicated and hardworking, um, and they have constantly put in the, the extra effort, the time and dedication. Besides just in class, they would do it at home. They would call people, they would text people and remind them to practice. They would do the extra things. Um, they'd be that shoulder to cry on for others, or they'd be that really helpful support to, to other students in the class and give them advice and give them um, care and love. This person is incredibly honest, and they're dedicated um, to the Greenway Choirs. Um, they are always busy, which is another indication of, 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 in my personal opinion, somebody that is, is that is willing to go the extra mile. They are they're busy with with work. They're busy with supporting other students on our campus, um, which I think is incredible um, that you can have a job, that you can be you know, for your choir member, that you are dedicated, that you um, do well st scholastically, um, but you are always there for your friends. You know, If they've got a game, they're there to support them. If they um, have other friends on campus, they support them. Um, so they're always making that, going that extra mile just to be supportive um, to everyone that is either in choir or her friends outside of choir. So it's really cool that they were so supportive. Um, and I will definitely miss this person as a four-year choir member that has designated so many years and so many tears and, and um, has sung wonderfully for our groups. And so without further ado, this award this year goes to Abby Vellalonga. Congratulations, Abby, and thank you so much for those many years of service. With that, this comes to our end of our choir banquet, and I am so grateful for all of your dedication throughout this year. Whether you were here for um, only the last little bit of the year, or you have been here for all four years, we love you, we care for you, um, and we're so very um, grateful for the opportunity to be with you um, and to see you grow. Um, I do want to give a thanks to um, the Greenway Choir parents um, and all of your love, your financial support, your support with the students, your support with coming to concerts um, and supporting your kid practicing at home and getting uniforms prepared and ready um, to so much more. Thank you parents and for giving so much of the extra. It's the behind the scenes stuff that nobody really sees that um, often goes unnoticed, but I wanna thank you um, for that dedication to us. Um, students, thank you for the incredible year. Um, I, I've struggled these last few days to um, just wish that I could spend time with you in the class and sing. Um, but I know that this is something that we need to do to have the opportunity in the future to continue um, our music education. Um, I also want to thank Kevin um, from Vocal Ensemble. Kevin, thank you so much for every single day coming in and straightening out the room and um, really helping our choir room stay clean. And um, I think that's really important that many students, um, many students didn't see what he had done, but on a daily basis, he would come in and make sure that everything was set and ready. Um, lastly, thank you to the performing arts staff and for the love that you share with all of those students. Um, and thank you again to those families. And um, I can't say enough of thank you to you. Um, and I want to end with just telling you guys that I love you. I support you. I am grateful for the opportunity to be your choir director. I tell you guys all the time that I'm fortunate to have a job that does not feel like a job. It is something that I get to do that is fun, that energizes me, and I get to be a kid every single day. Um, while I know that it might be annoying for me to be able to just be a goofball, um, I think it's a way for you guys to feel my love for you, to feel the passion that I have for music. Um, but I, I wanna tell you guys, continue to sing, continue to be passionate about music making um, and to never give up. Seniors, have a great rest of your life. I'm always sad to see you guys walk through those doors one final time. And I was grateful to see many of you guys at the senior day um, a couple nights ago. And I will miss you. And I wish you guys all the best. 
don't hesitate to ever come back and say hello and send me a message. Um, but I wish you guys all the best and wherever you may go and whatever you may choose to do. Know that you always have a home at Greenway High School. Know that you always, my door is always open. My phone is always on. Goodness gracious, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm constantly on this thing, but I am grateful that I have a family that loves me and supports me as well as you guys that support me um, and continue to push me every single day. We would not have what we have if it weren't for you. And I am I'm really grateful for that opportunity to be able to serve you and to be in front of you. I wish you guys the best and I hope your summer is wonderful. I hope you're able to get outside and go hiking and fishing and, and backpacking and resting. Um, and being able to come rejuvenated next year in August. And again, for those of you that are moving on, we love you. And we hope that you continue to have a joyous time. Um, we miss you. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.